Hi, this is Deborah Lockridge. I'm in Nashville, where I just got to experience a ride along of the Plus automated driving system. As PLUS continues to work on Level 4 autonomous driverless truck technology, what they call driver out, as in the driver is out of the cab, the company in the meantime has commercialized what it calls PLUS Drive, an automated driving system designed to help make the driver's job safer and easier. In very non-technical terms, I would describe it as a very advanced smart cruise control. And I got a chance to experience it during the American Trucking Association's annual management conference. Amit Kumar, Vice President of Engineering and one of the founding engineers of the company, gave me a quick walk around explaining some of the modifications that make the demo truck different from a standard Peterbilt. So the main modifications we have made it to the truck is uh, to this mirrors. This is the LiDAR. There's one side-facing camera. There's one rear-facing camera and a rear-facing radar. Then we have uh, forward-facing radars. Uh, on the production, this truck, if you see, there are like four, one, two, three, and four. But on the trucks, we finally put it into the production. There is only one forward-facing radar. And finally, we have, you can see, three inside-facing cameras. With the, those gray plastic covers are the three of our cameras. So a year or two ago, like uh, other companies or our competitors, we started as a level four systems or a driver out product, which is still in the development phase. But we took an opportunity and using that technology from the driver out R&D program, uh, we put it into a product form or commercialized it today. And that's what you're going to experience today. So in the last two years, we have developed this product called Plus Drive. So we climbed into the truck with Ruben Cardenas, who's a senior driver and trainer with Plus. We weren't allowed to take video inside the cab during our ride along, but I'll let Ruben explain some of the highlights from the drive. First of all, he explained that the Plus Drive won't engage unless it's on the highway. If it's not, the screen that's just to the right of the steering wheel shows a gray icon indicating it's not ready. Uh, there are some things that it does not support on the highway, like interchanges, construction zones, severe weather, those types of things, uh, loss of lane lines. Um, when it encounters any of those, it will go into a gray not ready state and not allow me to engage. It will ask me to take over. Plus customizes the factory cruise control interface on the smart wheel. To engage Plus Drive, once the HMI indicates the system is ready, the driver simply double taps the button on the wheel that has a plus sign on it. That engages the system, the driver hears a chime, and it's on. If he wants to disengage, the driver can push the minus button or disengage through any input into the throttle or brake, much like cruise control. However, this is far more sophisticated than your everyday adaptive cruise. It's not only monitoring the distance to the vehicle ahead, it's also keeping track of the vehicles in the adjacent lanes and their speed and whether they're pulling in front of you. We had a lot of stop and go traffic around Nashville, people trying to merge not only from the entrance ramp, but also from the shoulder, and Plus Drive's traffic jam assist took it all in stride, slowing or braking the truck as needed. Although the truck can stay within its lane without any help, it's not designed to be a hands-off the steering wheel system. Here's Ruben again. We make it to where you have to have some interaction. You have to be uh, holding on to the wheel for safety purposes. This is a driver-in system okay. uh, because of that. And, and uh, you know, also, let's face it, truck drivers, they want to drive a truck. So I take my hands off. It's a torque-based, not a thermal-based system, okay? okay? So it's reading negative torque. Approximately 15 seconds will go by. It's going to tell me, hands off detected. Hands off detected. And using the steering wheel, we're, we're, we're like dancing, is my best analogy. You know, I'm not steering it, it's not steering me. We both want to be making that turn, so okay. we're both uh, working together. Lane changes are only done at the driver's request, with a double engagement of the turn signal. At this level of autonomy, we do not have... Um, automatic lane changes. Okay. They must be requested by the driver. The system is just going to confirm that the zone is safe per my request, whether it's right or left adjacent lane. Mm -hmm. And when it becomes safe, the parameters are met to make the lane change, it will then automatically come over. And it's also going to be tracking our forward vehicle because we don't want to make a lane change on somebody's license plate either. 
Ruben explained how the traffic jam assist works. At highway speeds, we like to maintain four and a half second uh, gap here. Uh, in traffic, it's more distance based as long as we're moving. We'll, we'll stop uh, uh, about 40 feet back and then if it stays zero, we'll then creep up at like one mile an hour to about 15 feet and then do a final stop. It's very rare that you get down to zero. The vehicle is tracking all the objects, not just our, our lead vehicle in front of us in our lane. It's tracking all objects around us. And I bring that up because if our lead vehicle takes off and this lane becomes clear, but these lanes to the left maintain traffic, what we're going to do is now we're going to focus on those adjacent lanes that have traffic. We're going to take their average speed and go just above it a little bit. So that way we create a safe zone for people to exit out of that traffic or dive in and enter that exit or traffic lane that has traffic and keep us safe enough to either assist them to react or for me as a safety driver to be able to react and do something about it if I want to do something different. Plus officials told me they are already installing the Plus Drive system in customer trucks in more than one state. The installations take only a day, but Plus is working with truck makers to eventually have Plus Drive installed right on the factory line.